Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a review slash first impression slash try it on and tell you what I think about it. On this palette right here, this is, well, this is an empty box, but this is the Tartus Pro Glow palette. And this palette contains four shimmery highlight colors and two bronzers. One's a cream and one is a um, powder. I shouldn't say bronzers, I should say two contour colors because they're very cool tone and they really help you sculpt your face. If you know me or if you've seen my pictures on Instagram or anything, you know that I like more of a natural kind of contour. I don't like to do anything too harsh, so that's what I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do in this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and you like the finished look. Please don't forget before you go, thumbs up my video and subscribe to my channel. That would help me out a lot. I really appreciate you for watching and see you next time. Thank you. And this is going to be kind of a first impressions video because I haven't used this palette on myself yet. I did use it on one um, person at work and I also had a co-worker try it on me but I haven't put it on me myself. So this is the way it looks outside. The packaging is so pretty so so pretty but it is a matte black and then it has the gold letters and then you open it right down the middle like this oh, let's take this thing out there we go all right and so this is what we are um working with so as you can see this one has four different colors of highlighter and i love highlighter i love to be dewy and glowy and shiny it doesn't i have dry skin and it just looks so pretty i love highlighting um and then it has two bronzer colors down here and these bronzer colors are amazing because this right here is a cream contour shade and this is a powder to set it with so as you can see i did my makeup today and i did everything except for my cheeks i haven't done anything to my cheeks so i did my eyebrows my eyes i did my lips but i haven't done anything um to my cheeks except put foundation on so i use the nars creamy concealer um to highlight underneath my eyes and down the middle of my face and then i set all of that with the rcma no color powder all right so let's just get into it again i haven't used this before so i don't have a favorite way to apply it yet I think to apply the contour, I'm going to use this Real Techniques brush right here. It is the Expert Face Brush by Real Techniques. And I'm just going to dip this in my cream contour. Just like that, I'm not grabbing too, too much of it. I'm gonna use the same mirror that the palette has. I'm gonna place the color starting by the top of my ear and blending it down. Okay, so I'm going to get a little bit more of that cream and I'm going to go from behind my ear to my chin. And from my ear a little bit down to my neck so that it makes everything blend. I just apply it all over. When contouring, you have to keep in mind the shape of your face. I have a big forehead, so I do a lot of um, contour on my forehead to make the attention be just like the center right here and not um, around it. If you have a smaller forehead, you might not need to contour at all or you might just do a little bit on the sides. So let's do the other side. I'm just doing the cream contour for now still. Also notice how I go from the top of my ear downward like in the direction of my mouth but I don't make it all the way there I just stop where my eye starts right here if you've had questions about contouring that is a um, tip that you could use start at the top of your ear right here and do an imaginary line that goes down to your mouth so from here to here right but then you're not gonna make it all the way there. You're just gonna stop right here by where your eye starts. So my eye starts right here. That's where I stop, right? Make sure once you draw that line from here down, you blend it upwards and never go below the line. 
because if you go below that line instead of creating a smaller more defined cheekbone you're going to start creating a fatter cheekbone that I did a lot when I was learning <laughs> It's kind of genius that they did the mirrors on each side because I was just, like if this just happened I was trying to see how dark I made it on each side and it's so easy because you have you see one side with this part and one side with this part so I like that too We're going to go on and we're going to use the Morphe 523. This brush right here is a little bit pinched on the sides. You can look at it there. And with this brush we're going to go over what we just did. Same exact way we just did it but with powder. Less is more. So grab a little bit and start doing it. And if you need to build it up, if you want more intense contour, then go ahead and do it afterwards but don't start too heavy. When we go over a cream with a powder, it just makes the cream lock in place and last longer and uh, mattify. All right, so I'm going to do a little bit of nose contouring now. I'm daring. This brush is an Anastasia brush that just comes inside their Anastasia limited edition palettes and the Modern Renaissance palette has it inside too. Okay, so what I've done is I went with this one and I drew the lines and then I blended them out with the bigger one. I'm going to go ahead and get the bigger one dipped into ooh, ooh. I'm going to go ahead and get the bigger one dipped into the powder contour. And with it pinched, I'm going to go over it. A little bit on each side. Alright, so I'm happy with that. I just went over it with my Beauty Blender. My Beauty Blender had some of the highlighting concealer that I had put on before. So I went down the middle with it and then did the sides and it helped blend out that really easily. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to apply a little bit of blush. This one right here is called Flirted Up by Sephora Collection. It's number 06. I'm getting my Morphe E4 blush brush and I'm going to apply that with it. So I tap very little and I will tap it into my cheekbones so I start at the apples of the cheeks and I just blend it backwards and do that contour or bronzer that we put on so next I'm just gonna choose a highlight color and since I did kind of cool tone colors for my eyes and my lips I'm going to go with the cooler tone um, color highlighter so I'm going to get this one right here it's called Stunner, and we are going to put that on our cheekbones. I'm using this brush by Morphe, it's the Morphe 310, and I'm just grabbing a little bit of it. And placing it on our cheekbones, or the tops of our cheekbones. going to do a little bit on the tip of my nose and my cupid's bow then just to add a little bit more intensity I'm going to get my Morphe 501 brush M501 and I'm grabbing the color right up here um, it's called strobe and I'm going to put it right at the top there right underneath the corner of my eye And just with whatever's left touch up here so I must tell you guys I really like this palette I mean I knew I would because it had 
everything I wanted in it, but you know, it's nice to buy it and use it and realize that it's easy to use, that it blends super nice, that the colors look good on you. So I definitely, definitely recommend it if you are going to start trying to um, contour and highlight your face. I think Tarte did a great job on this one.